welcome back. I'm Jen from Jen's House of Six. I was able to go thrifting, you guys. I had an appointment out of town, and so I stopped at a new-to-me thrift store. My friend was telling me about it. I could have spent a really long time in that store, but I had my kids with me, and they do not like going to town, so I was trying to be nice. Plus, we still had an over two-hour drive home. It was really big, and they had lots of items, and the prices were very reasonable. There was some good stuff, you guys. I'm excited about it. Come along with me as we thrift the store, and I'll show you what was there, and at the end, I'll show you what I brought home. This store was so huge and they had a drive through donation center down at the other end of the building. first walked in it was so big it was almost overwhelming and like where do I start but then same as always I always head to the home section I thought these glasses were neat and they looked like something that someone would collect. I did look them up on eBay and they were selling individually or as a set, but they didn't have the set there that day. They were Christmas glasses and they had the verses to the song, The 12 Days of Christmas. I picked up this meat fork because I thought it was an expensive handle. My grandma used to have one like that. I want to say it starts with an A and I can't quite think of the name of it right now. Maybe you guys could remember, but the end of the fork 
I don't know if the um, screw was stripped that held it on and it just spun in a circle and I knew I probably couldn't fix that so I didn't end up buying it. This blue metal pan coming up caught my eye. It reminds me of the old fashioned coffee pot, like the camping one you see on wagon trains and stuff. I've always wanted one, so this blue just caught my eye. Plus I love blue. <laughs> This armoire was so beautiful. I really wanted to see the inside of it, how it was set up, or maybe it's called a wardrobe closet, I'm not sure, but I couldn't get the doors to open. They had a lot of big pieces of furniture. The only thing is I felt like their furniture prices for used, you know, items, even though they're bigger, were pretty high. Um, a lot of them would need to be worked on or refinished so some of the items were priced fair and then others were pretty high but other than that the whole entire store had really good prices which was nice <music> should have counted how many times people got on these pianos and played them while we were in the store. It was really neat because people really knew how to play and they would play a little song on it just to hear how the piano sounded. I used to collect teacups and saucers and I'm pretty sure I used to have one of these. It's a really neat way to display them. So you put the little plate at the bottom and that hook would hold the teacup by the handle so that you could display it. It looked really nice. is the room that I missed until after I had shopped and paid for all my items and I was headed out. Decided to walk back over there and go inside and see what was in there.
much furniture <laughs> some really nice furniture actually and then other stuff is just like stuff you see at almost every thrift store you go to but this right here was so darling i wish i had a spot for it because it's just very unique and vintage and it's already white i mean it's like a dream but i had nowhere to put it but it was so darling all right you guys we're back wasn't that a cool store so big and the funny thing is is I had paid for my stuff and I was heading out one of the items I bought I thought might have come in a set of two I decided I should just run back over and take a second look since I was videoing and I may have been distracted and not seen the set I didn't find another piece but I did notice someone had a huge rug and like a big mirror in their cart and I thought I didn't see any rugs on the floor and I looked around and realized they had another whole section outside some double doors that was an outside stuff like the big stuff and so I ran in there really quickly. <laughs> Um, I didn't bring home anything out of that room, but there was some really cool stuff in there. The name of the thrift store, I want to say it's called Desert Industries, but the way it's spelled is like Deseret. So I don't really know how to pronounce the name. I really meant to ask them when I was there and I totally forgot. And then I was actually going to call the store before I made the video and I totally forgot. So we're just going to go with Desert Industries. <laughs> So let's get like the boring stuff done first. Of course, it's not boring to me or else I wouldn't have brought it home, right? So I picked up this book was a dollar. It is Mother's Guide to Herbal Extracts and it's from a Mennonite Amish family. They are so, what's the word? educated when it comes to like natural items and so I knew that this probably had a wealth of information in it for a dollar I could I decided to start collecting these for my daughter uh, we only found one when we were there but they do have a set but it'll give me something to look out for and it was only a dollar but this is the American Girl collection books and I think she will she was already looking it over before we even left the store so I know she will really I am so that. excited about this book and it doesn't even have a title like what in the world made me stop and look at it well I picked it up and let me just show you it's chocolate you guys it's called the chocolate box have you guys heard of the five love languages I believe there's a sixth love language and I have it and it's the love of chocolate <laughs> I love chocolate and I was flipping through this book and there are so many good recipes like I literally want to start at the beginning and just make every recipe in this book but I I just thought and it's pretty thick so I couldn't leave this there for two dollars. I picked up this picture atlas for my kids for school this year. You guys know I've said and mentioned in several videos that I am getting books for them because I feel like pictures will draw them in and then they'll start reading and learning about things and this was only two dollars. So I didn't think that was bad. It's a really heavy hardback Next item is from it's the Pampered Chef and it is the apple quarter slicer. Okay so I had a little job when I was a teenager before I was married and my mom would make apple pies all the time and everyone just loved them. I saved up the money to buy her one of these and she loved it and then someone borrowed it. They broke it and it was never the same since. My mom has gotten a new one since then but I decided I needed to have one too and this is brand new in the box. It's never been used and it was only five dollars. two items are kind of for Christmas and kind of not but I've never seen one of these before. This is a double wreath holder and even though it has this Christmas scene on it I'm going to spray paint it. I've always wanted one because I would kind of like to have one hanging on the inside of my door in the house. This is perfect and it was only 50 cents. The prices at this store was so good you guys. 
This next item is, I don't know what this fo is for, so if you guys know, let me know. I kind of think it's just for papers, but the reason I bought it is because I am going to use it at Christmas time when people send me Christmas cards, and I'm going to put them in here, and then, you know, they can set out, and you can just grab one now and then and look at everyone's pictures or what they wrote to you, and it could also be spray painted if you wanted, and this inside of this, like, it moves if you need it to for something bigger. So this is what I was thinking was Christmas for this. I don't know really what the original use of this was for, but that's what I'm going to use it for. It was only one dollar, and that's the name of the store. Okay, my next item are these cute sandals, and they are, the brand is Mucklux, or let's see, yeah, right, that's Mucklux. And this is like a, a faux fur, the leopard print. And I feel like leopard is like a neutral. And I felt like these were in really, really good condition. They're not like scraped up or anything. And they're my size. They are dirty, so I will have to clean them. But they were only $4. I'm sure Mucklux costs a whole lot more than that. Next Great. item is so cute. I Someone had tried this on. Sometimes the best items you find are in on the dressing room like the stuff that people try on on the racks and that's where this was it's a cute skirt and it has pockets it's like this ticking blue and it has this cute little detail at the bottom elastic waist and look at the brand i really like this brand so i know it's expensive Next item is not super fun, but I love it. I wear these things all the time. I call them my granny robes. I'm sorry if you're a granny. I hope you don't take that offensively. Like, I love these robes. I had been wanting one that has a zipper and you can't hardly find these in town to buy anymore. You have to order them online. It has no stains on it and it has pockets and it's just perfect. It's exactly what I was wanting and it was only $2.00. The only thing is, is I wish they would make these robes in like solid or more neutral colors instead of all pastels. I will wear it anyway. No shame in my game. I love these things. My next item is this. I do not even know what this is, you guys. Can you see the words on it good? I don't know if you can. It says superb. It's metal. And I, it looks like it came off of something and it was only two dollars i will add the video up here and click on it if you want to but it reminds me of that little stove that i used to play with all the time of my grandma's and i looked and that one is the name of it is queen but i feel like this came off of like a stove or something like that like something old and vintage so if you guys know let me know i just couldn't leave it there i don't even know what i'm gonna do with it but i just thought it was so neat It was superb. Okay, this is the item that I walked back in to see if maybe I had left the, um, the set to it. I love the blue on this. It's nice and thick. It has the bottom piece, which is really great. A lot of these are missing this piece or they're broken, which makes them no good, but I'm not sure what was in this. The holes are pretty small on the top. I may just use it for decoration, but it was $3 and it's a really good size. But uh, I, I don't know. Do you guys know what this is for? Is it salt and pepper? I was thinking like Parmesan cheese or you could put cinnamon sugar in it or something like that. But like I said, the holes in it are very tiny. So I don't know what it was for. So I'll probably just use it to decorate with. But I thought it was so unique. I've never seen one like this before. So that had to come home this with This was me. another item that I decided to walk back in and buy. And this is, the brand on it is Falscroft, but it says, it's kind of hard to read. So it says, a joyous heart makes the loaves taste better. So this is for bread. A joyous heart makes the loaves, loaves taste better. But isn't it pretty? I love the blue. I love the creamy color of it it's a good size for a loaf of bread or whatever you want even a, a charcuterie is that how you say that but it is a false craft false craft and it's made in the USA 
and it was only three dollars so I had picked this up and looked at it but I didn't put it in my cart and when I went back to look at that other thing I decided I'm going to buy that so I did I picked this up this and it even has the lid this is like a water jug I was thinking for tea the only thing is is the rubber gasket on here is um, it's cracked so I know it will probably leak but it wasn't it's not stained inside or anything so I was thinking I could put tea in it but then the more I got to thinking about it I thought maybe I might not end up keeping it because I really like wish it had the blue <laughs> because I love blue and I feel like it's timeless, but I, I don't mind the brown. But anyways, I'm still undecided about this. So I know this is one gallon because it has the one on it, but it's from, let's see. I don't know how you say that. Miali, Miali Pottery since 1906, El Monte, California. So I thought that was neat. It's got this little spout on it. Doesn't have any other writings. And I paid $5. I thought if all else fails, I could plant a plant inside of this and just use it as a planter or set it on the shelf just for decoration. But to be able to find one that actually had a lid with it, I think it's kind of rare. You don't, I don't really see these things. This is kind of almost like the first one that I've seen that hasn't been in an antique store and been very expensive. This is my last item and I know it's not vintage. I believe it's a remake, but it is so cute. It's a little tiny crock and it says commemorative stonework crock. It was a dollar fifty and it's pretty clean inside. I like the color. It's really neat. But um, in the detail on it, even though I know it's it's kind of a, it's just like the size of my hand, but even though I know it's not vintage, I thought it was These still the fun. two items that I ended up buying after I walked in that little room that I had missed at the beginning. I saw both of these and picked them up and looked at them and didn't put them in my cart, but then I thought, you know what, this is unique. I don't have anything like either one of these things. So I decided to bring those home. Oh, you guys, that was so fun to be able to go to a new to me store and just see what was in there. They had so many clothes that I didn't even look at. The prices were really great. After going to Goodwill a couple weeks ago and seeing their prices and then coming here, it was like, yes, this is the right kind of prices for thrifty. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. You can comment, subscribe. If you guys ever want to find me, you can find me on Instagram. I'm on Pinterest. I always have all the places you can find me linked in the description below. I also have links in there to some rebate apps that you can actually get money back just for scanning your receipts or doing online orders through this website first. And it's like legit money rebate and it gives me more thrifting money. Anybody can use it and start earning rebates back. It's basically free money. So you guys can check that out in the description below if you'd like. And thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you on the next video. Bye. Thank you.